Now let's read the question here. Sources of the legend depicted in the cross section below is so we'll have to find out the source of the legend and here in the uh, cross section you will be able to see that these are the thrown by okay and they seem to be stuck at the bifurcation in the pulmonary artery so basically what is going to happen here is going to be a case of pulmonary emboli and there is basically a case of saddle embolism okay this thing we have understood here let's read the case completely here so a 68 year old male patient complains of chest pain and is unable to breathe so there will be chest pain and there is breathing problem he has a history of hypertension for past 20 years so there is hypertension there is sudden death of the patient after arrival autopsy was done to determine the cause of death so basically there is a problem in breathing so you can consider that to be a lung problem and here if you see this particular cross section you should understand that this is going to be at the bifurcation of the pulmonary artery and if you see this uh, particular kind of uh, pattern which is shown here that is known as the saddle embolism okay so we'll be discussing this in detail for sure so uh, before that we'll just talk about certain emboli so if we just talk about the embolism there are pulmonary emboli then we have the systemic thrombo embolism and the last one is that we have to talk about is the fat embolism now we'll be discussing the exam related point about this so first of all if we talk about the pulmonary emboli most of the pulmonary emboli they arise in deep leg veins above the level of the knee very important they arise in deep leg vein above the level of knee that is very important now there is something called paradoxical embolus uh, it is basically a rare embolus that can pass through an uh, intra inter arterial as well as the interventricular defects so basically from the defects of the ventricle or from the uh, atrium they can pass through and they can go to the systemic circulation and that particular kind of emboli is known as the paradoxical embolus so i'll just write paradoxical embolus now these are the kind of embolus that pass through either inter atrial or interventricular defect and they go to the systemic circulation okay we'll be coming to this let's go back to the pulmonary emboli now here the most of the pulmonary emboli are clinically silent okay so about 60 to 80 percent of the emboli which are occurring in the pulmonary uh, artery so pulmonary emboli are silent why these are silent the question arises here why these are silent and why they don't cause uh, like um, pulmonary infarction actually the pulmonary infarction is rare because your lungs have dual supply dual supply of lung is there so what are the supplies of the lungs so one is your of course the pulmonary circulation or pulmonary vessels and the second one is your bronchial vessels okay so if pulmonary is already like embolized still there won't be any infarction because bronchial vessel will be supplying to the lung okay so basically what will be the manifestation of this there will be uh, breathlessness there will be pain hemoptysis pleural effusion these are the manifestations that are going to occur when there is pulmonary embolism is there okay now sudden death may occur if pulmonary circulation is obstructed so if you are obstructing more than 60 percent okay if you are obstructing more than 60 percent of the pulmonary uh, circulation then your dual supply will also not work and that can cause the uh, sudden death okay now this is something which we have to understand here and one more important thing here is recurrent pulmonary embolism is there okay and uh, there is pulmonary hypertension then 
that can lead to coal pulmonary coal pulmonary when there is embolism along with hypertension so these are certain important things about the pulmonary embolism we will be just giving a brief overview of systemic thromboembolism now the systemic thromboembolism they are going to arise in the heart okay and the major site is of course the atrial embolization so whenever you see the systemic you will see the atrial embolization is there and these are lodged at lower extremities brain and less commonly they can be seen in other organs like kidneys spleen and upper extremities so most of them are going to be embolized 75 percent of them are going to be embolized in lower extremities Then comes our fat embolism. Now, this fat embolism is seen after a fracture of long bone. That is very important. Whenever you see a fracture of long bone and you see the uh, features of embolism, you can blindly go for fat embolism. Okay, and it is fatal only in ten percent of cases. It will be fatal. Otherwise, it is okay. Uh, like it is not life threatening at all. Okay, so these are the various things which we have read about the. Emboli. Now coming back to the question, if you see the options here, so the options here are vegetation on the heart wall, then we have the deep vein of the legs, atheromatous plaque and erotic aneurysm. So the answer to this is going to be your deep veins of the leg because whatever pulmonary thrombi is occurring, they are basically arising in the deep leg veins above the Knee. So that we have to remember. Now I have also discussed about a thing that is known as the central embolus. I will just try to elaborate this. So whenever large emboli they lodge in the pulmonary artery or its major branches or at the bifurcation. So there has to be large emboli. If it lodges in the main pulmonary artery or it lodges in the major branches of pulmonary artery or if it loaches at the bifurcation in the pulmonary artery then you are going to call it as the saddle embolism and here you can see there is a bifurcation of the pulmonary artery where this long emboli is launched okay so that is going to be your saddle embolus and it may lead to sudden death and that's what that was the case in this particular case as well so if we just try to understand the whole uh, case here so that is the case of saddle embolism and it is well very well given in the robin's pathology as well so this particular figure is taken from there only so the answer to this question is going to be deep veins of the leg which are a major source in 95 percent of the cases you will be having the pulmonary embolism due to the deep veins of the legs so answer to this question is going to be your second option that is deep veins of the legs